Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Constant Farm with me, Sea Wally, here in Farm Simulator 22. We've got the roller out ladies and gents and we're doing a nice spot of rolling behind the sugar beet seeder. But the guy's still doing the planting of the sugar beets, but I figured we'd get the fen out and start doing the uh, rolling so we can get that completed today. We'll also get him then sent over to do field 23 just as soon as the worker on field 23 has finished seeding that field. Um, I do believe he's doing a pretty decent job at the moment, I have to say. Um, seed and fertilizer is going okay. Again, he's burning through the fertilizer quite a bit. But apparently we do need a lot on this field. Um, but the good thing is, He's getting all the way to the field edge, and he's not missing bits. So, um, yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy. Which means I can focus on the next task, which is using my lovely mower here that I purchased not too long ago, back in the um, oh, a couple of months ago now, wasn't it, when I bought this? It was a second-hand um, dealie. Speaking of second-hand dealies, we've not had a look at the second-hand store for quite a while. Ooh, five-section disc cultivator. Ooh. What does that do? Well, it's 550 horsepower, and it's a 15-meter-wide cultivator. I'm guessing, though, that that digs up stones. Um, if it was a disc harrow... I may have been tempted. May have been tempted. Uh, shallow cultivator. That is uh, eight point four meters. Not bigger than what I've got. Oh, big harvester. Hmm. However. Not really what I'm in the market for, is it? What we're going to need... Oh. Ladies and gents. What a truck. Oh, if only this map supported trucks, ladies and gents. We could... Um, we could have had some fun with the Mercedes. Um, I was kind of hoping... Off chance, there may have been, there might have possibly just been a tiny, slim glimmer of hope that we might have had a uh, sugar beet harvester in the second hand sales, ready for later in the year, but there isn't. So, I must remember not to spend all my money between now and the autumn. <laughs> Because I'm going to need to buy a sugar beet harvester. That's perfectly fine. Now, ooh, ooh, ooh. actually, 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 before I actually start mowing, actually, um, there's perhaps another job I should do very, very quickly. Um, we'll park this guy in the in 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 the field. He's on widespreading currently. That's not gonna, that's not gonna wash with me. I'm gonna want swath dropping. Even though I'm gonna be doing hay, I would still like swath dropping, and I would still like um, that to be a thing. Uh, I want this fella. Yes. I want to take my milk up to the dairy in as I've got plenty of it um, contract wise uh, clear the contracts and let's have some new ones please right we've got a couple of sewing gigs oh by the way uh, I will not be doing any more harvesting contracts in this series the reason being there is a bug with precision farming that is affecting 
a small portion of players, I am one of them, where every time you complete a harvesting contract or a bailing contract as well, bailing contracts also have this problem, um, it screws up your bank balance in the game. Um, so I am not going to be doing any more harvesting contracts on on maps where I have got precision farming activated um, and installed. I will not be doing harvesting contracts. I will not be doing bailing contracts because it screws up. Um, I've had it happen on two different maps now. I had it happen on Huron County. I have had, I've had it happen on my new Riverview series. Um, and the, 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 the only common factor is precision farming. I actually did a test yesterday on Riverview. I loaded up a brand new save, right? Brand new save game without precision farming with all my mods, with all my mods enabled, all the 100, 400 odd plus mods that I'm currently using in this game. I loaded the game up with everything active except precision farming. I took a harvesting contract to harvest a field of oat and to deliver to the cereal factory on the map. Contract worked perfectly fine. Completed, not a problem. I then exited the game without saving, reloaded the game, this time turning on precision farming. I took the same contract on the same field to deliver oat to the same place. And the minute I delivered the oat, it screwed up the bank balance. So, precision farming issue. It's a bug in precision farming that is affecting... It's not affecting everybody. There's a lot of people saying, oh, I'm not, I'm not, not having any problems. I've been able to complete contracts fine. And then there's people, like I say, there, there are console players reporting the problem. So, you can't blame it on script mods, which some people are trying to do. Because console players don't have script mods. Yet they're experiencing the, the bug. Um, and like I say, I've experienced it on two different maps now. And the minute I uninstall, uninstall Precision Farming, every, the contracts work fine again. With, without me changing any other mods. So, if people are, people are going to say, well, it's a mod conflict. Well, what I'm going to say is, uh, the game works perfectly fine. The mods work perfectly fine without precision farming. On this instance, I would say the problem lies with precision farming not being compatible with mods. And it's up to Giants to make their mod compatible. So... Yes, that's just my little my little rant for the moment. I will not be doing any more harvesting contracts in this series. Um, because I've got precision farming installed and it breaks them. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, not, that's not going to make a massive difference to me, is it? Because at the end of the day, I've got plenty of my own fields now. I've got plenty of harvesting of my own to be getting on with. I don't really need to be doing jobs for other people anymore. Um, I've got my own work to be getting on with and um, I'm doing a pretty good job of things at the end of the day um, delivering the milk I have to sit here with the engine running because um, that's how it works sadly right just check he has actually finished because then I can move him out of the way Yeah. All good. Get him out of the way of the roller. Take him to the store. Refill him with the um the excess seed pallets. Can't buy a fertilizer pallet, sadly, because he's got 2,313 litres and this thing holds, I think, 3,000 litres of fertilizer. Um, so I can't squeeze a pallet of fertilizer into him, sadly, so I'm not going to buy any more fertilizer at the minute.
might have too many bags of seed. Possibly. Maybe. Definitely. There's going to be a little bit left in this pallet. That's okay. We'll use that to refill the um, grass cedar when the grass cedar needs refilling. Meanwhile, I'm just going to leave him parked over here for now. Because we shan't need him again till April. Grass cedar man looks like he's still getting on very well. Right. Things. First grass mow of the year, ladies and gents. Like I said, I might have to do a bunch of silage at some point just for the BGA, just so we can keep that digestate production going. like having a big mower proper mower i might actually be able to sell my um units now my mowing units because this thing's going to be able to do all the mowing for me now and it's not going to take a tractor it's going to keep all the tractors free it's even better for me So yeah, I will be coming back over this field with the tether, don't worry. <laughs> we'll be getting um, some hay ready for the cows. So I'll be happy once my cows start to actually reproduce because then we'll be able to generate a lot more um, manure and slurry. We will. A heck of a lot more. Here's what I now normally do, typically. Here's pick a row. 
180 degrees, that will do nicely. Will it? Will that do nicely? I want them to be at a slightly different angle. I'm at a slightly different angle. Okay, it's going to drive at 157, 155 degrees. I'm just going to have him work one way and then the other way. Uh, he's still CD. This fella's not doing anything. Let's bring him back. I have got what have I got unsalted butter I've got my cheese I've got some chocolates okay I've got a bit of stuff outside my productions uh, I've got some canola oil there so we never know we will still be able to make some money even though the bakery is broken shut down at the minute because we've run out of sugar we've got a sugar shortage here in Carmsden and the government wants to charge a sugar, le a sugar levy and we haven't got any what a flipping joke <laughs> Boris Johnson and his sugar levy get real anyway we'll bring this back and put near the cows, ready for transporting more of the um, slurry later on, up to the BGA. We will then go and have a look, see if we have a tedder somewhere. AI worker Jay has completed his task. I don't think he has. I'm kind of doubting that, AI worker Jay. I think that's the grass cedar. In which case, we will need to go and correct that situation. I don't know why I use that accent. Right, AI cedar man. I thought if I had a tedder, I would imagine. I would imagine it's likely to be kept somewhere. Around, around here. I do believe, ladies and gents, that is my tether back there. Okay, I got a problem because I've got the draw bar on the back. Let me just pop that off for a second so I can get my lovely tether. Right, just stay right there. Don't move. Because this fella has not finish seeding at all he's not even close what are you talking about willis Double check. Right, he's not harvested everything quite very neatly, has he? But Grassman, to be fair, has seeded quite nicely on my fields. I'm not going to um, harshly penalise him for the fact he knocked off quite early for his shift.
can see that this map's got limited terra um, terrain angles. Um, I think that was something that has been increased in the new version of the map. Pretty sure I read something in the either in the patch notes or on Oxy's Discord to say that the terrain angles have been increased on the new updated version of the map. Um, which would make things a little bit better because the workers will then you would be able to get the workers to work the fields more in in line with how the fields are laid out at the moment they're very limited as to what angles they will actually farm at and work at the um, vanilla workers obviously course play doesn't have that issue you can tell him to work whatever angle you like but um the normal AI workers are a little bit more finicky. They are a little bit more um, strict, reserved about what angles they will work at. So yeah, I'm going to need some more seed, and I'm going to need some more fertiliser at some point. Right, I do believe that is all that seeded. Again, we've just done standard rate seeding everywhere for that. I'm pleased I got rid of all the trees from the bottom of the field. And there's still one there. Tell you what, this is a good time, ladies and gents, for me to check and show you. I really wish I hadn't moved my stream decks now, because they're a lot further away from me. Um, I don't remember where it is. Delete objects import. Yes. Delete tree. Delete. Oh, it's the greatest feature ever. Of, um, providing you can actually get to it. amazing all them stupid trees now delete the tree that I couldn't delete before <laughs> they can all be got rid of easy devs command mod ladies and gents for the win we love a bit of easy devs command I'm so pleased that that mod is back it's, a, it's an invaluable tool for us content creators it really is because it enables us to set things up on our maps before we start recording our series we can set up maps to be quite customized and quite different 
and really help things like what I could have done what I could do is I could come down and I could delete these freaking wheelie bins and these road signs now I could remove those it would be great and then I wouldn't get stuck on them with my combine I must admit I've already kind of edited the, the version 2 of the map I've already put in Giants editor and a lot of these road signs I've actually pushed back away from the road edges I've moved them myself manually already been around manually move them so when i do start eventually playing on the version 2 of this map the updated version i've already got some tweaks my own personal little tweaks already added uh, for the map uh, one of the changes i've done as well down here um, when you come down here I've got rid of some of the trees that are a little bit close on each side of the road, which, like that one, that big one there really needs to go. Um, and then what I've also done, ladies and gents, like, um, I've, uh, like this tree here, for example, that needs to go. But I've actually removed a section of the hedge in the map. I've removed a section of the hedge here to create my little, so I can actually have a little drive through um, into the farm I've done that and I'm happy with that very happy with that change but yeah, it's nice to have the Easy Devs Command Mod because unfortunately, ladies and gents not all the trees that are embedded and implanted in these hedgerows can actually be removed with the chainsaw and it's not just on this map as well. I've noticed it on a couple of maps now. There's a certain there's certain types of trees which you just can't get rid of. Um, the, the chainsaw won't touch. So yeah, it's nice that I can now come along and remove them. The pesky ones, the ones that give you the trouble. Because they do have collisions, so they do grab hold of your tools and equipment. You can't remove them, you can't chop them down. Um, using the in game methods. So. Right, uh, just quickly, before I go and refill this... Let me just... Uh... Just to remove a bit more... Got you, pesky bleeder. I'm gonna be at 155, don't you? Thereabouts. There we go. Set him off again. Right, that one, that's all good. He's finished rolling that first field. Ooh, don't need him yet. We might be able to send him, might be able to get field 23 rolled today if we're lucky. If we are lucky. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to need some fertilizer for this fella as well. bags of seed please and then could I have four bags of fertilizer it's 
Still might have ordered too many bags of seed. No, it's looking okay. Oh, Phil mod. Still one of the best mods for the game. Surprise, Loki hasn't submitted it to the mod hub yet. I must be the only person in the world who has access to this mod at this moment in time. Because he's not released it publicly. He, he keeps sending me updates to it on Discord, thankfully. Um, but, yeah, he's not actually publicly released it. So, um... Not quite sure what's going on. I know he's very busy with the universal autoload mod, which I have to be quite honest. I'm not using. I'm still I still find the autoload special 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 specialization mod is better. To me, personally. There seems to be more mod authors that support that mod than auto universal autoload at the moment. And that's no knock on Loki. I just think people who make modded vehicles, modded trailers, seem to be building in the autoload specialization support rather than universal autoload. I mean, obviously, it'd be great. It would be great if um, mod authors... Mod authors um, built in support for both into their mod so players had the choice to use either or you know either or but right now there's more like i say there's more vehicles that use the autoload specialization mod than there is universal autoload the 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 pallet loading trailers that i'm using on this map they are all autoload specialization um, univ if I if I put the universal autoload mod in, those trailers don't work. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I know. Like I say, Loki's very busy working on that. I just hope he doesn't forget about his other mods that are just as great for the game: Lumberjack, Bulk Fill, Bulk Buy. You know, all those mods are fantastic and um, offer very um, valuable um, quality of life adjustments to the game. You know, not having to click to fill every single pallet of seed or fertilizer or lime or whatever it may be, or every big bag is great. You just click once and it will empty all the pallets that are in range of the vehicle. Brilliant. Oh, look at all that bee. The bees are just insane with their production. It's a shame the cows can't produce as great as the bees. Right, ladies and gents. What? A, ooh, yeah. Tree. Little tree. I've actually, as well, on my version 2, on, my, on the updated version of Calmsden, I've actually removed all the trees down here on this bit. So when I do my neck, when I, like I say, when I do play that map in multiplayer, there ain't going to be no trees between this field and the secret meadow, which means if players want, they can actually plow the whole thing together and make a big field here. This can be like one big, massive, ginormous, mahoosive field. And I think that's good. Right, I'm going to let course play handle the... Um, Task of seeding this field again. However, this time round, I'm going to choose to make a few setting changes. Uh, I'm going to make him work a little bit overlapping. 
I'm also going to make that a little bit smaller too. The reason for that is, no, I don't want him to, no, I'm going to want him to work, not left to right. Um, That'll work. Yeah, I want him to just overlap a little bit more of the, the field actual edge this time. Because I noticed on... Um, we actually go and have a look at field 9, ladies and gents. Wherever it is. Here's field 9. And we look at the needs rolling. There's a little bit on some of the corners where he didn't quite nail it, unfortunately. That's more to do with the articulated nature of this tractor, though. Because um, it turns quite sharply, and then it pulls the, um, the pulls the cedar. Again, it's supposed to do sharp turns in the corners, but course play just seems to ignore that setting. Um, and I don't know why, still. Still not been updated, still not been fixed by the course play devs after all this time. But if you choose sharp corners in your um, headland setting, it doesn't do it. <sighs> Seems rather redundant having the option for sharp, smooth, radius, whatever. If course play's just going to go, nah. Not doing it. Do what I like. Do what I like. I'm just doing a few more little bits here and there. Let's see what's happened here. Look, he hasn't quite run all the way to where he's meant to be. He has missed bit. That's a terrible, that's a terrible, terrible, terrible sign. I feel 10's looking a lot better now. Just fold him up. So that's the first field. We're going to get this, um, like I say, we're going to get this tedded. Well, I'm, I'm going to get this tedded. I'm then going to get it, obviously, collected up, loaded up. Uh, I'm very tempted to let the guy have a run at this field as well. This could be good for my silage. Get that put in the bunker. Get it squished, even though the bunker, obviously, on this map isn't the best. Because of the silly little collisions on the wall thing. Floating tyres now. Can I not delete those? It'd be great if you could just delete all objects on there. With the easy devs tool. Bit similar to how we have the objects hider mod in Farm Simulator 19. The great if easy devs tool allowed you to just delete any object you liked off a map, like the rubbish, the junk heaps, the junk piles, um, any just random de decoration like buildings that don't do anything, so you could put functional buildings in their place instead. You know, that would be kind of cool. So, ladies and gents, I'm going to do a bit of tedding. Finish my day. Bit of tedding. Roller man's going to finish rolling the grass field for me. Ah. 
March is then pretty much taken care of. We've done all the, we've done the important things. We've got stuff in the ground planted. Uh, obviously, we need April then to do the sorghum on field five. I want to say it's field five. And then I'm going to do sunflowers on field three. I'm actually going to have sunflowers planted next to the farm. Because I think the sunflowers look nice and pretty. They look really, really pretty. Um, and we'll uh, take it from there after that. And we'll have two big fields to seed in April. I'm going to have a look in a few minutes offline off camera on the mod hub to see if there's a digestate storage building or tanker or something that I can place somewhere here at the farm so that I can transport all the digestate from the BGA and bring it back to the farm where obviously I can then use it and utilise it in my um my production in my um fertilizer. I know we don't have to do any more slurry spreading now until after harvest. Um, we've got plenty of time. Obviously, we're going to need to build up a load of digestate. We're going to really need to build up the digestate. So I could really do with the BGA stepping up there and giving me you know, a hand by increasing its output. <laughs> Increase its output. Here's a good question, ladies and gents. Does, uh... <gasps> well... Hmm. No. I was going to say, does, um... Does an AI... Can an AI worker do the, um, tedding for me? And the answer to that is, it could. But I obviously need to make sure he's on the right angle. Brain angle. I need to get him to match the lines that we've already done. And let him just potter along. And that will bring us nicely to the end of today's episode, ladies and gents. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you're enjoying how the series is going. Please leave your comments for me in the section down below. Get those fingers working across those keyboards, ladies and gents. Send me some nice messages to read. Um, the best ones I'll read out during some of the videos, actually. How's about that? Um, for everyone concerned... And then what we can do, ladies and gents, as well, you can go ahead and click that thumbs up button for me. Say that you like the video, you've enjoyed the content, because that obviously helps me out a lot as a channel. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so. I know I repeat this every single video, but you have to do it. Because it's amazing when you look at the analytics of the channel, and how many people watch the videos that aren't subscribed. It's an amazingly high number of people that watch the videos but aren't subscribed. Just click the subscribe button, people. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free on YouTube to subscribe. It's not Twitch, okay? And above all, make sure you share the videos as well with everyone you can. Everywhere you can. If you're in Discord groups, you're in Facebook groups, pop a link to my videos in there. You know, get get more people coming along to watch and um, I will see you all again very soon in another episode of Farming Simulator Goodness so ladies and gents take care of yourselves stay safe cheerio for now ladies and gents